Look at these earrings. I bet you can guess what they're made out of. That's right, bottle caps. This is a great project to get the kids involved, the whole family. I love to recycle and I love finding items that I'm like, what can I make out of it? Well, guess what? Earrings. Hi everyone, it's Erlene of Erlene Garcia Art and the Hollywood Carney Channel. I've been making these earrings for well over 30 years and it is always a 100% profit. I'm certainly not the first one to design earrings out of bottle caps and I won't be the last, but I wanna share with you today how I do it. Of course, you will be needing some bottle caps. This is a small collection that I have. Okay, well, it's big. I guess I've had a lot of parties, but you can find them from your local restaurants and bars and they will be glad to give them to you. These earrings are lightweight and fun to wear. And I usually gift my servers and bartenders with them and they love them. After making them for many, many years, I found the easiest way to design them. Now I use this bottle cap hole punch, which I found at Hobby Lobby, and I think I used a coupon. So it was about eight bucks out the door. If you don't have the punch, you can use a nail and a hammer, but this little tool is so worth the investment. It's so easy, even a child could use it. I like to punch the hole right in one of the little grooves and it doesn't leave any sharp edges. After I punch the hole, I will use two jump rings for with the ear wire for the top and then one jump ring for the charm that will be dangling. And because these have a little dog on the bottle cap, I'm using a little dog charm because there are lots of dog lovers out there that would love to wear these earrings. And by the way, the reason I am using two jump rings on the ear wire is because I want the image of the bottle cap to hang forward. Maybe the type of ear wires you use will not require it. And also when you're opening the jump ring, I like to use two tools and open it front to back, not wide open. Otherwise you will lose the shape of your jump ring and possibly lose one of the components. Oh my gosh, those came out so cute. So if you don't have charms, but you have head pins and some pretty cool beads, this is how you can make a charm. All you do is you take your head pin, put your bead on it, carefully cut the head pin, watch out for flying pieces, and then just make a simple loop. Make sure you close it really nice and firm. And then what we're going to do is attach it with um, a similar color jump ring and you want movement in the earring. So this allows it to dance. Also, I have found that out of all of the different bottle caps that I have been punching holes in, they pretty much are all made the same way. So the thickness, the little hole puncher punches through each and every one that I've tried here in the tray that you can see, and I didn't have any problems with it. So let's recap, no pun intended. So this is what we did. We punched the hole. We put together two jump rings for our ear wire. We are going to attach it to the top of the bottle cap. Make sure that when you're attaching it, your picture is going in the right direction. You're going to attach an ear wire, choose whatever colors that you like. Sometimes it's fun to mix it up, silver and gold and copper together. And then you're gonna choose a super fun charm. And if you don't have any charms or beads, you can put three or four bottle caps together and just make it really cool and long. Wow, look at those, those are so cool. I love them. The black ones, I used a skeleton key and a lock. Your charms don't have to match and they just kind of have a little story there. Now these blue moon ones, I thought well, it's obvious, why not stick a moon with it? There's a lot of people who collect moon and star themed items. You, If you have some really cool star charms, that would look amazing on these too. Oh my gosh, I love those. 
And you don't have to leave it to just one charm. You could do a couple of charms or even some crystal beads would look nice with your charm. Always think outside of the box. And don't forget, next time you're out to dinner or uh, having drinks somewhere, go up to the bartender. You will walk home probably with about 30 bottle caps just from the one or two hours that you're there having dinner. And guess what? You're on the bottle cap earring making train. Oh, so look at these. These are really cool. I like to use ephemera or other magazine pages and rip up an old book, use family pictures. Everyone loves to see their image on something. Those would be great stocking stuffers. Oh, look, at I love these. I should have kept those for myself. It's Marilyn Monroe and Andy Warhol, and it's one of the portraits he did of her. And the charms are two little heart charms with some rhinestones. And then there's the image of her where she's young and old, older, I should say. And then this one, I used two different high heel charms, and it worked. A little while back, I was at the thrift shop, and I found a book on marijuana and I thought oh my gosh I have these marijuana charms for my customers who like to enjoy the marijuana and <laughs> I thought okay I didn't have any marijuana pictures so I took the book I decided to use my hand punch if you don't have a punch you can use um, a U.S. quarter and trace around it these clear epoxy stickers are designed for bottle cap jewelry I actually like the stickers so much better than the resin I was using. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking some of the words that I cut out from the book that say marijuana and one of them says 420. I am going to use the stick glue and glue them to a little black piece of cardstock and then cut them out. And if you've ever seen any of my videos on greeting cards, I do this a lot and I just like the way it looks. So I thought, why not do it for the earrings? I am going to lay the words on top of the, the marijuana pictures that I cut out and make sure that they're balanced and centered with the stick glue. And then we are going to put the epoxy sticker over it. Now my hand punch is a little bit bigger than the sticker, which is fine and then I will just trim around it. I have files and files of vintage ephemera and I just use what I have on hand, but you know, magazine pictures are perfect. Um, vintage photos would be really cool or even some of your scrapbook paper. And if it's floral, you could put a little flower charm. That would be super cool. Also be careful not to touch the sticky part of the sticker. You do not want a fingerprint on the underside of the sticker. I've also made these with holiday paper and a little bit of glitter and they are the perfect quick gift to give someone just in the beginning of December or whatever special holiday that you celebrate. So let's continue here. I put my two jump rings on the top with the ear wire. I am using double stick tape. This is what I had on hand. And I feel like it worked pretty good for these earrings. I'm gonna leave the rubber seal that is left on the bottle cap in there. It doesn't really make a difference. So I'm putting the double stick tape on the back of the image and inside the bottle cap. When you press it inside the bottle cap, press it firmly so you know that the double stick tape adheres. And then I use the soft part of my scissors or a soft rounded tool to press down the edge of the sticker all the way around. And then I will take my needle nose pliers and close up the edges of the bottle cap just a little bit so I know that the sticker will not fall out. And when you're sticking the edges, pressing them down, you could use your nail or something, but make sure you do not press your nail on the bubble part of the sticker because you don't want um, any dents on it. You want it to look very smooth, almost like you used a resin. 
Also double check your circle once you complete this part so it looks nice and uh, round like it just came off the bottle and double check it that it doesn't fall out of the casing. We are almost done. I'm so excited. We are going to add um, the little marijuana charms and a lot of these charms I purchase at the bead and gem shows that I go to here in Pasadena, California. I find really cool things and I'm like, okay, I know I'm gonna have an occasion to use this. And I am so happy that I did, especially with um, a lot of my special clients who like to enjoy uh, the marijuana. So let's take a quick look. These are the ones that we made today and I am so happy. These are my personal ones. I love those. I love the color. They look so vintage and I need to find more of those caps, by the way. And I'm using little beer openers that say I love you. Aren't those cute? These are the other ones that I did. And with that harp, I just thought it was so cute. Also, someone might like the Blue Moon ones because if they were born in 1995, that's when that particular beer was established. And on the New Belgium ones, I also made a pair that had little tiny bikes on it. Those were so super cute too. And keep in mind that you can use a bottle caps from either side with any type of a fun image. So keep in mind, you can recycle anything. Just put your mind to it and make something pretty. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching today. Have a happy day. Bye.